the table. Hello, everyone. Hi. Oh, hey. So how is it working on the final season? It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And is it also a little bit sad and traumatizing? <laughs> Honestly, it's weird because we're we feel like we're we've just started in a sense. Like yeah. I, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm at the end of anything. I feel like we're sort of at the beginning of this season. So um, for me, like the emotion is to come. <laughs> right now, I'm just uh, excited, exhilarated, nervous about sticking the landing on this show, you know, and so that's that's where our focus is. And, and it's mostly very exciting because I've been on the show, I haven't even, only been on six or seven years, only six or only. seven years. Only! Yeah. <laughs> it's the only show you can say that about. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and that's and, only almost half, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At, like, and I've never had the, the opportunity to write towards an end, day, as opposed to a sort of jack-in-the-box, gotcha, like, mm. here's our big cliffhanger. Um, so I'm mostly just really lit up and inspired, and I think we all have a broad consensus on a vision for an endpoint that's very exciting to all of us. That feels like not what you're expecting, um, without uh, subverting the emotional um, uh, imperative of closing out the story. Like it feels like both an honor to what uh, needs to be seen, but doesn't feel predictable. So. Do you have a wish list? Um, you've obviously had, as you said, a long time to write lots of different iterations and pairings and such, but when you come towards the ending, is there one that you want to revisit in an episode you get to do or something you're pushing or, you know, sometimes you save an idea until <laughs> it's the end. Do yes. you have one? Um, well, we don't know what our big meta episode is yet, mm -hmm. um, but the, the goal is that we will have it, so, you know, somewhere in that end run a big meta episode. Excellent. And I, <laughs> I'm very committed to, like, my version. <laughs> and the truth is we're going to be duking it out sh shortly to sort of, you know, hammer out what is that episode going to be, yeah. who, gets, who gets to write it. Um, and I think we'll all contribute to it, whoever whoever's episode it ends up being. Um, truthfully, I mean, the way, like, the wayward of it all, I want to make sure that we're not just leaving the narrative things we owe, not just the fan, like, the, the fan of it all, but, like, there's a couple narrative pieces there that I hope we can get to. Yeah. But, um... Really, like the entire range of sort of the extended, you know, family Winchester family. Like, you want to make sure that you're um, seeing off as many people as you can. Yeah. I will say though that this is it's a 20 episode season, and like, really, it's like it is. We're at that point where it's like, okay, Jack, Cass, Sam, and Dean, and we know how we want to sort of. Uh, complete their stories and so I think that really takes precedence and so even the returning characters that we are seeing here and there it's almost always really in service to that larger story like it's it's go time so we're getting focused yeah about the meta-ness of it all, could you comment on the fact that God is the big bad villain, but he's also a writer? Mm -hmm. Could you take us through the thought process of that? <laughs> um, there's a uh, uh, I think there's an episode in sort of the first batch that will dive fairly deeply into um, that, and you'll see that it's a, a hate letter to ourselves, um, <laughs> uh, the Chuck characterization. Like, it's very... And, and um, yeah, and, and when we were figuring out those scenes, it was like, oh, yeah, like, this, this is a chance to really stick it to us. Um, the show is good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So can you tell me, just as... What is it like to be in that writer's room? How does it look? Because I'm always fascinated by that kind of thing. I, and this show, as long as it's gone, it's got to be insane. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if it's it's a big secret that we're kind of a hybrid show. There are shows that are room 24-7, and then there are rooms that are, everyone's off in their corners breaking their own stuff, and we're sort of in the middle, so it's not 24-7 for us, it's oftentimes all of us get together, we figure out, okay, here's the broad stroke of this, and then in terms of individual episodes, everyone is, has a little more authorial independence in terms of, they go and they break certain elements, and then we kind of smooth out the differences collaboratively or via the show under, you know, Andrew and Bob. Um, so... There are heated and intense moments that actually are very heated because you only have maybe half of the calendar. Are you actually in there negotiating this stuff and trying to get your voice heard? Um, where most, a lot of the time it's you, it's your episode, you're figuring out the story, you're figuring out the shape and the break of it all. So it's kind of a mix in that way. 
Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.